guys, it's me, Tammy T, and welcome back to my channel. Feel the rain crashing down, all around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. So on this sunny day, we're going to be learning how to do a chest stand, and I just know that you're going to get it, so let's get into it. So we're going to stretch our neck, our shoulders, and our back. You also need a lot of strength, so try holding this position. So now that we're all stretched and ready to go, you can now start to think about how you're going to learn how to do your chest stand. So we're going to begin with the preparation. So you're going to start on your knees, then you're going to slowly arch your back and push, push your hips forward and stick your tummy out and roll up. And down. That's your preparation. So you really need to make sure that you're not just flopping down into your chest stand. You need to make sure that you're rolling right onto your chest. Like that. I hate the outside world. <laughs> make sure you practice that a couple times. This is what you should not be doing. And this is what you should be doing to get a softer landing. Now the main part of your chest stand is actually having the flexibility and the strength to be able to maintain that position. Now for actually kicking up into the chest stand. So you've just done your preparation. Down to the floor. Now while you do your preparation, you're going to have a bit of momentum that's going to push your legs up for a second. But you need to work on your strength so that you can hold it for longer. Another thing you want to try and do is to get your legs as far over your head as you can, like this. As you can see, my legs are very far over and this helps me with holding my chest stand. And this is what you should not be doing. I would say just to keep practicing your preparation and your roll ups just till you eventually hold your chest stand. You could also bend your legs at first but try and straighten them as soon as you can. You can have your hands facing down or up or if you're really struggling to roll up into your chest stand you can kick up to it. Also be careful with your chin, I really hurt mine. No matter what way you do it, just make sure you're pushing your hands into the ground to stabilise you. Now we're going to talk about our roll down. And you need to make sure your roll down is smooth. Basically a reverse of your preparation. A nice roll up. And flop! See no, this is not what you should be doing. Wrong. What you should be doing is rolling up smoothly, then rolling down smoothly. Like a wave. Hey, that's like the end of the worm. Anyways, you just want to make sure that you're coming down smoothly. Another way to get down from your chest stand is when you split your legs and go down. Like this. So that's it guys, and I hope this video helped you get your chest done, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!